tree. I'm catching lights like a spectrum. Props I collect in my kit as if I were a rectum. Brothers, women, and children, make sure you protect them. Let loose the abuse, you never know how it would affect them. Man, I don't just be my blinky, my hands not kinky as king. So when you see me, best bow. Innovative style, direct from Jersey, but up the world be foul. So all me brethren say power, and honey say I. What's all about seven miles, no smiles, so don't infiltrate. The black might state at any rate. I'm more than great, let's just say I'm godly. Three dimensions, mind, soul, and body. I speak it all modestly, so y'all diesel follow me, come follow uh, me. It's the blink, the stink, the funk, baby, come bring it. The blink, the stink, the funk, baby, what, what? The blink, the stink. Phantom style black man's profile Seeping in your soul Creamy thoughts takes control You're helpless as a bird Caught up in my hurricane I maintain your mainframe When I manifest my name So captivated Slash elated As I saturate it You with the skunk rhyme That made you all intoxicated You'll be quickly debilitated If you disrespect the darkness Out of the darkness Came to light So watch the yachty spark When you mark Check the penal projection Ripping mics like a C-section With the inflection Sun Hurting in the ghetto section No questions, my abilities emanate from my pity activities Mashing lyrics to melodies uh, Some rap fiends consider this a felony First mistake, hip-hop is a mental state Not the life of a hustler or a prisoner Ah, uh, it's the blink, the stink, the funk, baby, come bring it The blink, the stink, the funk, baby, what, what The blink, the stink, the funk, baby, come bring it The blink, the stink, the funk, baby, what Hip-hop is like a vitamin, it could revitalize Life to the lifeless, if properly utilized, extracted from six guards comprised. Don't look too far, star. See, this is where the flavor lies. Knowledge is the foundation and manifestation of true wise. We can see past those lies, exercise those third eyes. See, this be the blink because it fails to sink to the lowest degradation of this new hate hop nation. We be the brand new sensation. Two styles and variations. Adjust your antenna, check your station. Uh, the blink, the stick, the funk, baby, come bring it. The blink, the stick, the funk, baby. Concepts is real, raw deal like she kill. Coming through the middle with the massive appeal. We instill chill lyrics in your head to build. Like an architect, a master what was once preset. The destination of a soldier's voice, infinite. To demonstrate that we're extractions from a higher being. From the seed of Mother Earth came the black human being. Ah, uh, it's the blink, the stink, the funk, baby, come bring it. The blink, the stink, the funk, baby, what, what? The blink, the stink, the funk, baby, come bring it. The blink, the stink, the funk, baby. All right, so let's get it, family. We about to get up out of here. We about to blast it off. Y'all ready? Let's get this thing right. Oh, it's time to grab the blast, family. It's time to get started. I'm so excited. I'm sitting up here. Kid Magic. Kid Magic. Wow. Shots out. Here we go. 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 Drink your water Come on, come on, drink your water But first, take your breath and drink some water Take your breath Take your breath and drink some water Take your breath Take, take your breath and drink some water Take your breath Drink, 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 drink or should I say, breathe, breathe, then drink. Take a breath, take a breath, take your breath. Take now, your breath. grab your glass for some water. Grab, grab your it. glass. Lift your picture of that water. Or a bottle. Get that picture of that water. Uh -huh. Simply pour, pour some, some water. water. Drink, 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 drink. Or should I say, lift, pour, then drink Now move your body and drink some water Move your body Move your body and drink some water Move your body Move your body and drink some water Bam Just move your body Drink, 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 
drink, drink your or should wine. I say, move, move, move then drink, move your body. Now raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Toast. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Toast. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors, fam. Just, Just raise, raise your, your, glass. your glass. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Or should water. I say, raise, toast, toast. then drink. Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Lift and pour yourself some water. Pour. Move your body, drink some water. Move it. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Breathe, lift, move, toast. But remember to stay healthy, remember the four pillars. Breathe, drink, eat, move. Drink half your weight in ounces. Eat a culturally appropriate diet. Behave. Take your breath. Come on. Lift and pour. You can do it. Move your body. Come on. Come on. Toast your ancestors. Drink up. Come on. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Drink it. Lift and drink it. Come on. Drink that health in. Drink. 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 Drink, drink your water. Take your breath. Lift and pour. Lift it. Move your body. Come on, come on. Toast your ancestors. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Drink, 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 drink. Come on, come on. Drink your water. Take your breath. Lift it, pour, come on, pour it. Lift it. Move your body, come on, stay healthy, family, come on. Toast your ancestors. Drink, 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 drink. What? Drink your water. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Of a schedule today, brother Hatim. Man, I am up early. I am. I feel my energy waning, but I'm going to kick it right now. But family, I want to make sure that you know that there's nothing like standing in the congregation of the mighty, in the home of the stubborn minority, in a place where your hustle builds muscle. This is Giami Journey Media. I. I'm your host, Brother Hatim, and of course, you know that this is a Heart of a Simba production all day, air day, family. We want to give all of the Mojo Babies a round of applause. Give it up for them, give it up for them, give it up for them, give it up for Yes, they do. Give it up. Come on now. There we go. 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 There you need to know without a shadow of a doubt. Without a shadow of a doubt, that we strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigms. Start. Got it popping off. Let's get it popping off here. On Giambi Journey, media man, family, family man, it's so good to be standing here with you. Man, listen, so let's go and get straight into it because I got to get up out of here because I have promises to keep. You know what I'm saying? Trust. We just talked about trust yesterday. And part of the trust is knowing that when something is needed that you are going to be able to fulfill that piece because you're responsible and you're held accountable. So I got to be somewhere at a certain time. And then on top of that, I just found out because I was I was ignoring my daughters yesterday because they kept on my daughter kept coming to my room talking about can you take and I wouldn't even let her face I ain't going nowhere so she would just walk away <laughs> then I find out that you know they're supposed to be having some type of party or some type of celebration today and they need some stuff so we're gonna try to make something happen for the Giami girls because they deserve it they deserve it you know they get on my nerves sometimes but, you know. 
You know, it's real life here, Gianni Jones. It's real life here. All the time. Every day, family, family, family. So let's go and get started. The title of the show today is Creating a Tribal Mind or Creating a Tribe Mind. Let's say that. Creating a Tribe Mind. Um, and I'll get a little bit into that um, in a second. But first, you know, anime, if you could, because we got to roll through this today. Can you help me out? What, what, what's up? It's the proper proverb. Proper time. Proper proverb. Proper for the day, family. The proverb of the day. Listen up very closely. Grab your own goose of a child and self mastery journal, and get ready for the writing prop. Are you ready? Are you ready? The day's date is two one four two two six. That's the week of two one four. 22-6. All right, you can go and sit, fill out the beginning of your week, your your calendar right there on the Goose Saba Challenge. Fill in with the other notes. But here we go, here we go, proverb of the day. The world has not made a promise to anybody. Let me say that again. The world has not made a promise to anybody. Listen, tell me, what does it mean to you? I don't know it's who, but I heard from somebody. The proverb of the day. The proverb of the day. The proverb of the day. 2-6. Let's go. The world. The world has not made a promise. A promise to anyone. Or to anybody. Alright, got it. Boom. Alright, y'all ready for the folk tale? Let's see. Can can we do it? Can we do the folk tale anime? Can, can you get me together on that real quick? Let's see. What happened to my folk tale music? What happened to my folk tale theme? The folk tale theme just disappeared. The fuck? All right, there you go. Where you go? There you go. All right. Folk tale time. Folk tale time. Folk tale of the day. Folk tale of the day. Here we go. We have the wolf and the shepherd. A wolf followed by a flock of sheep. Not fault, my fault. A wolf followed a flock of sheep for a long time and did not attempt to injure one of them. The shepherd at first stood on his guard against him as against the enemy and kept a strict watch over his movements. But when the wolf, day after day, kept in the company of the sheep and did not make the slightest effort to seize them, the shepherd began to look upon him as a guardian of his flock rather than as a plotter of evil against it. And when occasion called him one day into the city, he left the sheep entirely in his charge. The wolf, now that he had the opportunity, fell upon the sheep and destroyed the greater part of the flock. When the shepherd returned to find the flock destroyed, he exclaimed, I have been rightly served. Why did I trust my sheep to a wolf? Ooh, man. Get the message. Get the message. Oh, folk my tale, God. Folk tale. 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 Folk I get yo, you got the sound stuff together. Can I can I get the war horn, please? You know what? I need my thing. I'm getting all the time. I'm getting all the time. I'm getting all the time. Right, so you know, I woke up as I often do lately. Let's say this. Lately, I've been waking up, and like I said, I put on my mind. I say, what is it I'm going to talk about? And it'd be early, early in the morning, like 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. And I wake up, and I'd be like, oh, that's it, right? So the day was creating a tribe mind, creating a tribe mind, right? Because we're talking about unity. So the the benefit of, because it's like this, if the unity if the unity that you're forming is not beneficial, then get, the, get away from it. You understand what I'm saying? You need to be forming unities that are beneficial. You need to be building tribes that are beneficial, right? 
See, because the the opposite side, the opposite, yeah, because every everything is a dual dual sword, right? Just like you create a positive tribe mind, a brilliant tribe mind, you could create a negative and a very stupid tribe mind, right? The whole concept is when you bring people together, you form a neural network. Not only not only far as the mind, you extend all of your all five parts of your being, five parts of the brain, intuition, mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical. You extend all parts of your being, right? You increase your uh, your intuition. You increase your mental cap uh, capabilities. You increase your emotional intelligence and the way that you can deal with emotion. You increase your spirit and your spirit reach and you increase your physical activity. You increase what you can do. When you come together and form a tribe, if all five of those are not being increased, then you need to really think about what you're doing. You understand what I'm saying? Just joining a group just to join a group. You know what I'm saying? It makes no sense. Come on now. But listen, so... I want to talk about forming this tribal mind. Why? Because this extends your intelligence. If you hook up with other individuals who are studying, if you hook up with other individuals that have that are able to think, you increase your study and your thinking because you have access to your group intelligence. When y'all come together and y'all form a tribe and y'all start claiming that tribe, you form a group intelligence. And that group intelligence can grow. It grows as more members are added, regardless of whether they're in your city or in a different place. You plug into a neural network that you can access and pull information down to use to make your life better. You do the same thing on all other, all the other aspects. So I wanted, and I wrote, we have been hinting on this idea. That we at that as we begin to form tribes, we have the ability to expand the other five parts of our being. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, 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 you develop a spiritual center, you develop all these parts extended. You extend who you are. That's what a tribe is for. A tribe is supposed to make you stronger. A tribe is supposed to make you wiser. A tribe is supposed to make you quicker. A tribe is supposed to make you more nimble. The, a tribe makes it possible for for when you couldn't take down a big mammoth, the tribe enabled you to be able to take down a big mammoth and have enough food for all of the tribes, right? It extends your mental capabilities, all right? Scientists are now telling us that our minds are connected. They call it a non-local consciousness. When we come together, we form a non-local consciousness, right? Now, the question is, how is this non-local consciousness benefiting you? Are you plugging into it? Right? So we need to, you know, we got to talk about this. That means your mind is no longer just inside your body. It can connect with other minds without ever leaving your body. All you need is another person who will talk and listen to you at length. And you do the same for them. The more people who communicate together, the greater their collective intelligence becomes. It can become, let me stress that, because I know some very stupid neural, non-local intelligence, some non-local, then very non-local and unconscious. You can have a non-local unconscious as well. Um, it's like having a super brain instead of just your own brain. The individual member of a tribe not, uh, may not be very intelligent, but when they work together, they create a tribe mind that has extraordinary capabilities. And once you know how to plug into that, you got access to all of it, right? Sort of like being being on a, a mental internet, right? You got access to all of the intelligence of all your other people. And in some cases, you don't even need to talk to them. You just start acting smarter. I'm just trying to let you know. So here's some questions I want you to wrestle with. Here's some questions that I want you to wrestle with as we start talking about forming this tribal mind, right? Can you think of a time when you were part of a group that was thinking or solving problems together and a whole was greater than the sum of its parts? 
I hope everybody have experienced that before. I know we experienced it physically, some because a lot of us we do team sports. You experience uh, an, an an extension of your physical power. You are able to push past your own limits because you see other people around you pushing past their limits. But you could do the same thing on the other four parts of who you are, right? The other four parts of your being. You could do that on the other on on for all, all. What happens when you got an individual that's operating? on all five parts of their being and they all have been extended by the tribe you got a super individual there you got a super group right what do you think about the idea of forming tribes what, what what's your idea about it you know what i'm saying is this something important is this something that you want to do you know what i'm saying are you looking for a tribe are you trying to build a tribe what's going on what is the most difficult problem you have ever solved personally and would it have been easier if you had a group of people or closer to, because y'all don't have to always agree, because I, I want to understand that, because it's that friction sometimes that causes the growth, right? Even sometimes you need that friction, right? But you could be like-minded enough, you know what I'm saying? Because I got people that I'm like-minded with, but we don't agree on everything, right? And it's those clashes that forces us to grow, right? Um... <clears throat> do you think that forming a tribe is something that may be more applicable for people in the future? So, because I'm, 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 I'm of one to believe that this whole tribe piece, we're moving into a time where it's going to be very, very necessary. So for me, it, that's a yes. I think you know for it, that maybe is I think it's very applicable for the for people in the future. As a matter of fact, we can see it happening right now. You know what I'm saying? I think Google is a conglomeration of tribes. I think Amazon is a conglomeration of tribes. Right? Or or better yet, I ain't going to say a conglomeration. I'm going to say a bunch of people working around tribes. that are very selective about who they let on the inside. Everybody's clamoring to get on the inside because they see the fortune that this that that this that this entity called Amazon, this tribe called Amazon is, is creating, this tribe called Apple that's creating, this tribe that's called Google or Alphabet is making, this tribe that's called Meta or formerly known as Facebook it is making, you know what I'm saying, you see all these tribes, um, what are your thoughts about the tribal mind and how can it change the way we work, live, and play, what are your thoughts about the tribal mind and how can it change the way we work, live, and play? How does your tribe influence your life and work experience? How does your tribe um, influence your life and your work experience? Do you think that being a part of a tribe has helped your business? Hmm. Questions to wrestle with. Writing prompts. Writing prompts. Shameless plug. And Goose Cyber Challenge Self Mastery Journal. Um, so now with this, I want to give you, um, to create a tribal mind. Let's see. Uh, I messed up. You begin what, what the idea of a tribal mind does. It allows your whole being to evolve or, or it can, you can't devolve to don't, I'm just trying to let y'all know. So be careful who you plug into. You begin to tap into your vast potential and become whole, not just as an individual, but as a member of a larger unit where everyone can benefit from everyone else's insights. It's not one person that's just hogging it, although you do have tribes like that. You do have, I don't even know if you could call them tribes, you do have people that are using people like that. Everybody, you got to make sure that everybody's benefiting from this, this, this tribal mind. To create the tribal mind, step one. You have to be ready. You have to get yourself prepared and, and um, for the tribal mind. This means you're going to have to discipline. Like, for example, control of thought, control of action, devotion of purpose, faith in your master's ability to teach, teach you the truth, faith in your ability to assimilate the truth, faith in your ability to act upon the truth. You understand what I'm saying? This is why you look at ancient societies and there were certain rules, control of thought. What happens when you have a tribal mind that has developed a certain amount of power, but yet you have somebody that is in that tribal mind 
that has absolutely no control over certain parts of themselves. It corrupts the neural network. It corrupts it. So you got to have people who are disciplined. So you have to be ready. You have to prepare yourself for something like this. This ain't something that you just go in haphazardly. You know what I'm saying? This ain't this ain't a get rich quick scheme. This is something that takes time to get prepared for and to get built on. And you also have to have steps to get people ready. Let's say that they want to come in. What is the process for people to come in? Can they just put on a jersey and be part of your tribe? Then you ain't got a tribe. You got a group. And if that group has any type of power, y'all might be in danger. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm telling you right now, if you have ever seen a mass movement of, of where you got an influential person and everybody get caught up in a moment, and you start noticing a bunch of dumb shit start happening. Because you, you don't have to be smart to be influential. I'm just letting you know. You understand what I'm saying? If people are not ready, they could be coaxed into doing some dumb shit. You want to have people around you that's thinking, be like, hey, 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 whoa, whoa. This sounds stupid. Well, you know what? When you think about it, you're right. It does sound stupid. Right? Step two, step outside of yourself. Understand that the collective mind is greater than yourself. So you got to really step outside yourself. You got to you got to look, you got to be you got to humble yourself so that you can be able to accomplish what it is that you need to do inside of this 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 new network that you're forming. Step outside yourself, right? Humble yourself. Step 3, create a common focus for the tribe to work on. What's the common focus? Right? What's the common focus? You know what I'm saying? Um, create a common focus that y'all that 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 y'all can work on and apply this mental power, this intuitional power, this emotional power, the spiritual power, and lastly the physical power. What is the common focus for the tribe to work on? What's your goal? Last, be the change you want to see in your tribe. Be the change. You know what I'm saying? Be the change that you want to see. You know what I'm saying? When you, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you need to set the example for how people should, and I know some of y'all, oh, I can't do it. Well, you know, then you might not, the tribe might not be for you. For those that say they can't do that type of shit, you, you might, you might need to, you know, be on your own. You understand what I'm saying? So, um, be the change that you want to see in the tribe, right? So, family, what I'm going to do, animated, I get it. Did I get it? That's what I'm doing. I'm thinking all the time. So here we go. So um, I'm gonna give y'all. Let me give y'all something. Y'all gonna say the pledge. Give me a couple of seconds to do this. Minute by minute, minute by minute, hour by hour, hour by hour. You lose your history. You lose your history. You lose your power. You lose your power. Minute by minute, minute by minute, hour by hour, hour by hour. You
time I'm right. All right, family, let's go on and grab your health drink. Grab your health drink. Let's do this damn thing, family. Let's get it. Because, you know, I'm sitting up here like, wow. Huh. Well, I already, uh, oh, okay. My fault. Here we go. All right, get your health drink. And finish the last of my little carafe here. Well, it's not carafe. I got to call Mama Aziza so she could break this down for me because she told me exactly what it was. I can't remember what it was. Uh, but anyway, anyway, we're lifting up our glass. We're saluting the creator by whatever name you choose. to Call us your creator. We call your creator. What, whatever you call your creator, we're lifting up our glass. We're saluting. And we say the word of power, and that's very simply. That's for us. Whatever your word of power is, you can use it out there. We're lifting up our glass. We're saluting our personal ancestors as we do every morning at 5.45 a.m., we are up at 5.45 a.m., lifting up our ancestors, and we say, Ashe. You get your ancestors on the list by simply joining. Um, doing, uh, basically, you're going to have to do the um, um, the uh, seven-day free e-course. We got a free e-course that, you know, once you sign up, you do it. You get the videos. You check it out. And like I said, if you got some interest in Giami Journey, we got some interest in you. Let's build, family, and we can help you build your own tribe as well. We lift up our glass. From there, we move to the present moment. We lift up our glass. What did I? We we lift up and we salute our personal ancestors and we say, Ashe. Um, if um, also, family, we're going to move right now. We're going to lift up our glass and we're going to salute. The present moment right now family we are on the moment of emoja and as i ask you on a daily basis family what is it that you need right now in this moment to move towards the greater you right we're lifting up our glass we salute this moment we salute the power in this moment and we recognize this moment right so what we want to do is we want to define emoja the closer we come to it in in, in english is unity truth is the modic principle of the day Violet is the color, as you can see by the shirt that I have on. You can salute, you can salute Giami, or you can support Giami Journey by going to merch.gnj.media and going and get your own daily toaster shirt. Support us, right? Um, mentalism, mentalism is the um, hermetic principle today. Male name is Quojo, female name is Ajua. We lift up our our glass. We salute our personal ancestors. I mean, my fault. We salute this moment, the power in this moment. We recognize the power in this moment, and we lift up our glass high, and we say, Ashe. And we move to our children, our children's children, on to infinity. We lift up our glass high. We salute them, and we say the word of power, and that is Ashe. Last but not least, family, last but not least. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're going to lift up our, um, actually, this is not last. We're going to lift up all of those uh, family members who might be in need of that balanced healing energy. So we're going to lift up our glass. And we're going to throw that energy out to Brother Kwesi Lowe, Kenyatta. We're going to lift up that lift up the glass and throw that energy out to Elder Tony West. We're going to lift up our glass and throw that energy out to Elder Debbie Bowie. We're lifting up our glass and we're saluting and sending out that energy to each one of them. And we say, Ashe. Start with the creator, the end with the creator, the same. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Family, wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years. Ha <laughs> ha. So let's get it. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. We want to thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. We want to thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, we out. Peace, family. Mr. Diddy.
Gianni.